Horse shit. Holy fuck. Fucking horse shit, boys. I'm done with this bullshit franchise known as the Toronto Maple Laughs. I just wanted to wake up today and have a good Canada day, have some beers, make some videos, have some fun, right? But I turn on NHL.com and the Toronto Maple Leafs have traded Phil Kessel, my favorite Leaf, to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, great. So this is what I get for being a loyal Maple Leaf fan. What the fuck's the point, man? I think I'm done. In fact, I know I'm done. I'm becoming a, a Montreal Canadian fan or an Ottawa Senator fan or a fucking Edmonton Oiler fan, whatever, man. Anything's better than the goddamn Toronto Maple Leaf... Uh, evil empire management that they have going over there what, what look what look what happened this year we have a shittier product that that for some fucking reason has gotten worse over the years they take away the best panel for the intermissions in the tsn panel give us strombo and these other hacks don cherry's being cut off by this twitter chick who gives us bullshit statistics our hockey's being ruined they charge us up the, uh, they charge us up the f ass for tickets and jerseys what the fuck you think i'm gonna spend 150 dollars on a guy Damn Kaspari Kappen in Jersey. Find a fucking game, assholes! And now this fucking game's not working? Holy sh! My Canada Day is ruined. Phil Kessel gone. All right, all right, calm down. I'm gonna send him off in the right way. But honestly, man, what's the point of being a Toronto Maple Leaf fan? We didn't even get anything back. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm wrong there. And this guy's going with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Great, great, fucking great. Phil Kessel, get in here. You're gonna take the first shot. There you go. And Jim Reimer, you're getting in the net as well. All right, I'll talk about the trade a little bit after words, boys, but I got a rant right now just because, fuck, when I was a, uh, Matt Sundin, he was my favorite Leaf player, you know, we made him feel like shit, we shipped him out of Toronto, got nothing back for him, now Phil Kessel, my favorite Leaf, he's being shipped out, get nothing back for him, and everyone's making it seem like he's the problem, please, watch him have 50 fucking goals playing alongside of Sidney Crosby or Malkin next year, he's gonna get energy actually playing on a team that can make it into the playoffs, not this bullshit franchise north of the border that has not got anything done for 50 fucking years and yet you still charges up the f okay calm down calm down holy shit boys i'm pissed i'm very pissed i knew the trade was coming get the fuck out of here crosby i knew the trade was coming but you know what man just we just did not get anything back we really didn't and we also retained the salary it's i was watching something on uh, i think it was tsn they made a funny joke. It was like, the Toronto Maple Leafs traded away their best player and had to retain salary on him. That's how bad you know it is here in Toronto with our contracts and our players. So, Phil Kessel, man, I appreciate the time that you had here. Let's see if I can send him out in style. A wrist shot off the rush off the right side. Blocker, baby. Blocker. Blocker. Fuck no! And that summarizes Phil Kessel's career here in Toronto. Marc-Andre Fleury, he wouldn't move for Phil. For fuck's sake, Phil. Well, you know what, Phil? I still appreciate what you did here. Fuck everyone else. You're still a top-notch player, and I want to see you get 50 next year, man. Uh, 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 get the hell out of here, Evgeny Malkin. My problem, my beef is with management, man. I understand why they wanted to trade him away. You know, you don't want the Schneider Luongo thing that happened a few years ago. Get him out quickly. But fuck, like, you get nothing back. And when you go back and look at what we did, hang on, what do I want to do? You know, fuck it. I don't even want to do a shootout. Take a fucking shot. If you go back and you look at the um, Brian Burke trade for Phil Kessel in the first place, right? Six years ago, seven years ago, whenever it was. That was supposed to be the start of our rebuild. Trade away Phil Kessel for two firsts, all right? Those two firsts ended up being Tyler Sagan. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, you can't score with your own head, idiot. Um, those two firsts ended up being Tyler Sagan and Dougie Hamilton. I know there was a second in there, right? But somebody in the comments section just write it out so everyone can see it as well. It ended up being Tyler Sagan, Dougie Hamilton for Kaspari Kapanen, Scott Harrington, Nick Spaulding, a conditional first, and a third. That's basically what it all ended up being. And six years of fucking failure. It didn't... Oh, oh my god. And, and we're handicapped for the next seven years with 1.2 retained from Kessel's contract. I know we probably won't be a cap team. We'll be shit for the next decade, right? But, uh, it, fuck, man. We should have just started the rebuild ten years ago. God. Emmett Brian Burke, you fucking idiot. Holy shit. Now he goes off to Calgary and turns them into a beast. Well, thank you for... Fuck. Oh, you know what? I'm not I'm not in the right mood to be taking good shots here, boys. I'm sorry. All right? Let the shootout be over. The Toronto Maple Leafs deserve to fucking lose. They're garbage. They're fucking garbage. Get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Might as well twer trade away uh, JVR now. The guy's a pigeon. With Phil Kessel gone, he's not going to get any points. That's the only reason he got points last year. He uh, 15 goals, 30 assists. And Phil Kessel's an Iron Man as well. Pittsburgh, you're gonna love that. The guy won't get injured. Uh, Lupul, here we go. We'll just do the jaw for Lupul move. There you go. Oh, fuck, it went in. I want this shootout to be over, man. I want to talk about the trade a little bit. I wrote down some stats for you guys, but Jesus Christ. 
Oh, what a waste, man. What a waste of seven years. What a waste of Phil Kessel's talents as well. Jesus, man. He accomplished nothing in Toronto. I guarantee you. You're going to have all the negative comments saying, oh, he doesn't try. He does blah, 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 blah. But just watch him in Pittsburgh, all right? Just fucking watch him. Roman Pollock, let's try to get that kicking goal that we got before. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, baby. Oh, that wasn't it. Yeah, I desperately want to get this shootout over with. I'm done with this shit. Go, just score Dupuis. Go ahead. Just score Dupuis. There you go. <laughs> he still ran into me. Yeah, very good. Yeah, do the Felino hop. Fuck it. The Toronto Maple Leafs deserve to lose. Get the fucking puck in the corner. All right? Boys, I'm pissed off. I don't even want to do a shootout commentary. But let's talk about this trade a little bit. Just because I suppose it is a, me a mega deal. And a lot of Pittsburgh Penguin fans are absolutely loving this. You should be anyways. So Phil Kessel was traded to the Pittsburgh Penguins. We retained $1.2 of his salary. So he was an $8 million player on the Toronto Maple Leafs. He's only going to be a $6.8 million or $6.75 million player on the Pittsburgh Penguins, which is very worth it for a guy like Phil Kessel. Just wait until he gets 50 goals playing alongside of Crosby or Malkin. He can then reflip him for more players, right? Uh, we also traded a conditional second-round pick, Tim Erickson and Tyler Biggs. Tyler Biggs was a flop. Erickson, yeah, all right. Maybe he could have been somebody for us with uh, Babcock, but maybe not. A conditional second. And coming back to the Toronto Maple Leafs, Scott Harrington, Kaspari Kapanen, Nick Spalling, a conditional first in next year's draft, and a third round pick in next year's draft. Okay, so first of all, Scott Harrington, he's only played NH uh, 10 NHL games this year. Um, he was a second round pick from 2011, but... You know, I was reading up on him. Some people were saying, at best, he would be a top four defenseman, all right? So, okay, fine. Uh, the next guy, Kaspari Kapanen. Now, he hasn't played in the NHL yet, but he was drafted in 2014, 22nd overall. So, he's a former first-round pick, drafted last year, right? So, I'm hoping that this guy has a high potential. But again, I was, I was watching people talk about him, and the TSN analyst said that potentially maybe a third-line goal scorer. So, n nobody, you know, like a top-notch prospect here. Nick Spalling... He was, he's 26 years old, and I guess he'll be the roster replacement for Phil Kessel. On a team like the Pittsburgh Penguins, I guess he would be a, uh, a top six forward or maybe a third or fourth liner, right, on a good on a really good team. On the Toronto Maple Leafs, he's going to be a first or second liner. I guess he's got good size, and he should be fine for us, right? He's not the problem. So I guess we got Harrington and Kapanen for Kessel from the prospect side of it. And we also got the conditional first. If they make the playoffs, which they should, we'll get the first and a third. All right, so, but you know, if they make the playoffs, it's going to be a deep first round pick. And the third, it's just, God damn it, you didn't get anyone, like any studs. You didn't get any, like a, like a Dougie Hamilton, right? Or a Ryan O'Reilly. You didn't get anybody who's established. These guys still have to prove themselves. The draft picks could be flops, right? You know Phil Kessel's a, a world-class goal scorer. And what we got back from them, they all could end up being nothing, right? And if that happens, holy shit, that's horrible. So, you know, Pittsburgh, I think, definitely won this trade. Phil Kessel, he's a world-class goal-scoring winger. The downside of Phil, I guess, would be his compete level, quote-unquote, his compete level. But you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to stay on the side of Phil Kessel just wasn't a fit here in Toronto. The media just ate him alive. He's a more of a low-key guy. And maybe on the Pittsburgh Penguins, that change of scenery will be exactly what he needs. And he turns out to be an absolute stud. 50 goals, 50 assists, playing alongside of Crosby and Malkin. And also, Pittsburgh, it's something underrated about Kessel. Maybe some people won't agree with me when I say this. But, um, you know, he's an Iron Man. He's not going to get injured. And he's also... A proven solid playoff performer. I know he's only been in the playoffs three times, right? Um, but the years that he actually made it in, he's got 22 games played. He's got 21 points in those 22 games played, and he's a plus 11. When the Toronto Maple Leafs lost to the Boston Bruins in Game 7 of that playoff run, Phil Kessel was not the problem at all. He performed in those playoffs. He had a big Game 6. He had a few assists in Game... One assist or two assists in Game 7. He showed up, man. He also had a breakaway goal in game number two, which helped us win, right? He showed up in the playoffs, so that's what you guys need. You guys need playoff performers, and he could be that perfect winger for you guys, all right? So I think the Pittsburgh Penguins definitely won this deal. As a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, I'm disgusted knowing that the next five years I have to endure more shitty Leaf hockey. So thank you very much, management. Are you guys going to be lowering ticket prices? Are you going to be lowering jersey prices, anything like that to accommodate us for enduring these shitty seasons fuck no we're gonna have to still pay full price for this shit product they put out every year so boys i'm angry but you know what i'm not surprised phil kessel thank you for your time and best of luck in pittsburgh